Hi, welcome back to another part. Today we'll be taking the tracking data exported from After Effects to Blender and creating a scene, animating simulations. So let's go. And then we go to Blender. Before going that, just check what FPS is the video base. So our video is, uh, sorry, 60 FPS and uh, and go to first of all you need to change your cycles and then cpu to gpu compute and then this frame to i'll be sitting here like for as of now like 100 enable motion blur because you might be forget at the end before rendering so better to turn on at the initial phase and this is the very important point where you need to toggle on this transparent button or else you will not able to see the background video or the if, if an HDR is placed the HDR will cover the whole entire scene so you need to turn the transparency on and go to this and just check which ratio aspect ratio is so this is not the right this is the landscape mode so you need to change it to portrait mode so which is 9 is to 16 and another one is we have 60 fps okay then it's time to import so before importing you need to know how to add the add-on where we have converted the tracking data it, the file is json file so we need to convert the json file which is from after effects to blender so we need that add-on i just mentioned initially Take the preference go to install and the downloads it is uh, import com to blender yeah this is the add-on and that's it well, if, if, if it is there then yeah this thing will be after effects composition data convert dot json click this and go to our data file assets oh sorry files track files this is so here we get the track and we will have the two track solids so one will be the floor another will be in somewhere here you need to change because some kind of tracks will be will have a lot of distance between both the track solids so one track will be very far away and another track will be really close to the camera so you need to change uh, settings here so just talk just move this up and go to view and just change this end to 10,000 or even more like when you're able to see the another track solid so this is a very good key point you need to remember all the time when you import any kind of track not only on this you need to go to the camera and you can go to the camera and again you will see that yeah this end clip need to be i'm just i'm just using 10000 meter here so yeah so you will not able to so you will find it the end track solid is missing so in the meantime i just upload the footage on here so just go to add image or just close it so just add image a movie clip open the footage Such footage Such footage yes so this is a footage you have open so this is this should come behind this so i have there there will be like there will be something plain like here you will have this plane if you have the two solids so you have to just, just cross you have to cover the plane which is behind this so this should be behind like this should be here like the floor where the 3d glass should be placed and this should be cover the mountain so 
I have made already covered so this is the model this I used that I covered it is just a basic plane like what I did is just use press control R so I will cut one one slice and then make it and just and go to select one part of this and press E and extrude and based on the video like just click this button so you will be able to see the background mountain out there so give me a second I'll be hiding hiding this file and now you'll be able to see it and if you can just click the wireframe so you just have to add the more subdividing lines and to the model to extrude from here to down downward so if you go towards the clip so you can see this extruder model is floating so you need to go push it down so it act as a mountain steep you got so this is a basic modeling thing so if you're not aware of the basic modeling you just go to youtube tutorial any of the youtube tutorials just available to basic model basic modeling in blender so after completing it you can just create the scene so the mountain is covered and the another plane which should be behind this so I have to turn on one settings and that is go to visibility and if, if you didn't turn down the shadow catcher mode on I'll show you how it looks it will it will look like this even in your final render so you have to turn on the shadow catcher so this will only catch the shadows not any other additional elements on top of it for example I'll just keep a I'll just keep a sorry I'll just keep a cube on top of it and you will have to see what how it looks see so there's a cube behind this mountain so it's cutting the part which should be hided so if I bring the cube towards on top of the mountain so you can able to see the shadow so this is catching a small amount of shadow on top of this see, see this. so if you bring it more there is a shadow on the mountain so that makes this plane so realistic so this is how it works so which makes plex which makes the plane so realistic so just remove it so this is the basic scene setup yeah, where you will add the shadow catchers where you will get, get ready the tracking data and and another point you have to check on is like how many uh, frames you have so you need to start it from one so go to this output layer and you will be frame start you will be given as one and the end frame will be the last frame of this keyframe so this uh, yellow clock keyframe so the video ends on 618 frame so you just have to change the end frame to 618 see on the part 2 where I'm I'll be working on this animation simulation part let's go hey guys welcome back to another tutorial so today I'll be talking about how can you get a model for free and how to animate it and how to create simulations like how I did it in the chai video like let's go to adding chai so following that i will show you a website which is called sketchfab where you can get cool 3d models even sometimes animations included sketchfab sketchfab so so if you just search chai glass you will get 
two models so i have used this indian t class so which is modeled by bhagat good or also you can use jlb G, glb file you import and click jlb file the downloads indian t yes now we have the model and we need to bring that to a position yes so 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 if we keep it down so that's it and the glass is ready and you want to see the people it will be covered by the glass but that we can do work on the post production so just check for that video so since the glass is kept at the place you have to check whether it's placing exactly at the position where the plane was so here's the plane so it's shining yeah that's cool guys so i've just added few elements on on top of this before going to the simulation i'll show you assets on top of it where where i found on this footage if you go at this position you will find like if you don't have any kind of grasses right here it feels like a little bit unrealistic so what I thought is to add few grasses so which will blend up the uh, OG scene with the CGI scene. Just select the object where the your elements or which element you want the liquid uh, liquid simulation to work on, and then go to object, mm, go to QK effects and QK liquid. Oof. Oh my god so you have got a domain so domain is something or domain is a box where the liquid simulation works if some something is pouring from the top of the sky let's say in the same similar to the video um, a amount of water is pouring from the top so the water will be there only inside this cube it won't go outside or it won't go, go spill out or outside this box so what you want to do is so if you have an object like called glass so you need to cover that entire object fully you can just click this and you can see where and all this domain is covering Say x yeah so this will be enough for the glass you check on all the angles whether it's covering or not or else you will be in trouble when you're simulating like the liquid will get spilled out of the glass so once this is done so now you know the simulation will work on this domain so but you want your simulation to be on this inside the glass itself so for that you go to the physics tab and so if you go to fluid and click as an effector and enable this collision and click S planar so if some so this is my effector the effector is something which is a kind of a spear I will let you know like you just have to create by shift A by pressing it you just have to create a spear an echo spear where you keep it at the top and go to fluid and click flow click again liquid geometry sorry you have to click inflow liquid it's called like the geometry turns into the liquid it's called the geometry flow and here inflow is something where the liquid keep on generating from this spear so that's so this is our domain so you also need to make sure this point the spear is inside the domain if the spear is outside the domain it definitely not going to work 
so be careful on that so the spear should be inside the domain and i why i said this much big is because i need tea is flowing from that spear all over from the sky so you have to be that's so why I just, I just adjusted it to the out of the frame so that so it directly falls to the glass so here is it how it look like so this is how like so if you want to adjust any tweak the setting so there is different types of liquids like water honey oil like honey will be so thick so it will be falling as slowly and oil is a little bit thick but not thin as water going to the domain so this is already baked so i'll just free it so it will start from initial so it start from the first frame uh, so these these liquid settings keep it as it is like completely depends on the resolution so the re the more the resolution the more accurate the water will be so i would suggest you to stay between 100 to 300 just change keep on tweaking it slip just keep it and diffusion here here you want to um check about like i explained to you before where whether honey or oil or wash and here's where here's what you you need to check on like this is the path folder where you need to save this the cache detail of this liquid simulation frame start as 350 so this frame starting is different and the frame starting here is different this is for the end sorry uh, this is for the entire video and here this is for only for the water or the liquid simulation so the my liquid simulation should start from 350 and it should go to 620 and i have kept all you can even place it as replay and just play it how it looks like but it might take a time to generate so i would i would i would suggest to go with all and bake it this is generated on 128 resolution divisions and let's see oh see that it's really smooth it's really cool wow this roots looks really good till this point we need to be aware of the hdris the reflections the lighting part so there are two ways of getting a perfect hdra which is to get a insta insta 360 camera shot which will take a globe picture and we can add that hdra into this environment texture in blender or else you can get a free hdra from online websites like poly heaven or hdra heaven i will give the give the links on the description to and what hdra here i use this i can show you i'll show how it looks like just turn on this transparency so this is my hdra which looks more similar because there is a green background behind this t and there is a cloudy sky and these are the mapping and texture coordinate used to control this like rotating scaling scaling rotating these kind of steps hdr is done the next final step is to render it go to output select a location a new folder render it so this is just a basic render i'm not using this composting tab like we can work a lot of stuff in this where we can do alpha and different other composting them so i'm not going deeper so just as basic stuff is needed for this so go to select the folder and just add whether you want to generate on mp4 you just click this and encoding as make it to mp4 or avi or quicktime is good for good quality videos and changes to as 264 or whatever the format to be is but i always prefer png or tiff finally go to render tab and press render animation so that's it you come on scene setup animation simulations and hdris in blender so please subscribe and watch the next video